B minus 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9. We have ignition sequence start. The engines are on. 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. We have commit. We have We have lift off. Lift off at 7.51 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. We have cleared the tower. Roger. Right here, Houston. Right and clear. Mark, 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 20 seconds out, uh, we get a loud and clear from Frank Foreman. Thirty-two seconds. All right, you're looking good. Booster says the S1C, the first stage, looks good. The crew confirms the, their progress at 50 seconds into the flight. Mark, Mark 1, Charlie, Apollo 8. Mark 1, please. One minute out, Mike Collins tells the crew we're looking good. Two minutes, 25 seconds. We see uh, an S1C, the first stage cut off. S2 has ignited, we can confirm. And the thrust looks good. All engines, all sources show the second stage is burning perfectly. Two minutes, 51 seconds into the mission. And the, uh, at three minutes into the flight, the range safety console has been released at the Cape. Three minutes into the flight, we're 50 miles high, about 10 miles downrange. Three minutes, 25 seconds, we have, uh, we have verified that the tower has jettisoned. The crew has verified the tower has jettisoned. And the crew is advised they look good on the ground for staging. And Borman says, same here. We got S2 cutoff, we got S4B ignition. The Borman confirmed S4B ignition. The thrust looks good to us at nine minutes into the flight. We now have 89% uh, of the velocity required. We're 920 miles down range. And uh, we're nine minutes, 20 seconds into the flight. We have Seco, says Frank Borman. Seco, and I would call it 11 minutes, 30 seconds. That will be an estimate. 11 minutes, 30 seconds. Our launch digital data shows uh, our velocity now 25,577 feet per second. The uh, data now has been re reduced and we show an altitude of 102.5. And the crew has been given a go for orbit and they responded enthusiastically that they too in fact were go.